Hey everyone, and in this video, I'll be going over what a VPN actually is, how it works, and why you might want to use one, especially if things like privacy, streaming, or public Wi-Fi security are important to you. So at its core, a VPN, or virtual private network, creates a secure tunnel for all your internet activity. And what that means is, everything you do online gets encrypted or scrambled. So your internet provider, governments, or any third parties can't see what sites you're visiting or what you're doing online. Now another thing a VPN does is it hides your real world location by assigning you a new IP address. So instead of websites seeing your real location, they'll only see the VPN server location you're connected to. For example, if you're in the US and connect to a VPN server in Canada, websites will think that you're in Canada. And that has a few benefits, like being able to access geo-restricted content, assuming that's legal where you are. But I'll go into more detail on those use cases in just a moment. Now one of the main reasons people use a VPN is for privacy. It keeps your browsing data encrypted so your internet provider can't build a profile of your activity or sell your data to advertisers. And that's especially helpful these days when most websites are tracking you in the background. A VPN also gives you a much safer connection when you're on public Wi-Fi, like at cafes, hotels, or airports. These types of networks are usually unencrypted, which makes it easier for someone nearby to intercept what you're doing. But with a VPN on, none of that data is visible. And then there's the benefit of bypassing regional restrictions. So for example, let's say you're on vacation in Mexico and you want to access your US Netflix library. You can just connect to a VPN server in the US and suddenly you're able to watch shows like How I Met Your Mother or anything else that's normally only available back home. Some VPNs also include features like ad, tracker, and malware blocking. These can filter out pop-ups, tracking scripts, and even some harmful websites. So just browsing the web feels a bit more secure and less cluttered. And finally, when you check your IP address, only the VPN server's location shows up, not your real one. So your activity stays private and your location stays hidden. Now, if you're wondering which VPN to actually go with, I'll share three options that stand out depending on what you need most. So first is ExpressVPN, which is probably the easiest one to get started with if you're new to using VPNs. It's one of the simplest apps to use, and it runs on their lightweight protocol, which has a great track record for fast and stable connections. They've also got over 3,000 servers across 105 countries, so you've got plenty of locations to choose from. The app is well designed and works across nearly every device, so it's a solid all-around choice. Next is NordVPN, which offers more of a balanced mix between speed, features, and pricing. It runs on their NordLynx protocol, which is known for great speeds, and they currently have over 7,800 servers in 165 countries. Some of the extras you get here include threat protection, a double VPN option for added security, and generally one of the better values out there in terms of what you get for the price. And then for anyone who's looking to keep costs as low as possible, there's Surfshark. Even though it's one of the more budget-friendly options, it still performs well and includes features like antivirus and breach alerts in the Surfshark 1 plan. It has 3,200 plus servers in 100 countries, and unlike most VPNs, it lets you connect as many devices as you want with a single subscription. Speeds can be a bit slower compared to the others, but it still handles things like streaming and basic privacy just fine. And just as a side note, discount links and any updated promo codes for each of these are included in the description below, so feel free to check those out if you're interested. Now, if you're not sure which subscription to go with, most VPNs offer two main types of plans, monthly or yearly. The monthly plan gives you more flexibility, but it's also the most expensive on a per month basis. The yearly plan usually comes out to a much lower monthly cost, so it tends to be the better deal if you think you'll be using it long term. What often happens is people choose a monthly plan thinking they'll just use it short term and then end up renewing it a few times without realizing they're paying more over time. So if you're leaning towards keeping your VPN for a bit longer, the yearly or two year options usually have the better value. Also, all three of the VPNs I mentioned, ExpressVPN, NordVPN and Surfshark include 30-day money-back guarantees. So you can try them out, see which one fits best, and still get a refund if you decide it's not the right fit. So hopefully you found this video helpful. If you did, please leave a thumbs up as I always appreciate that. And if you have any questions, feel free to drop those in the comments below. I'm always happy to help out where I can. Otherwise, thanks so much for watching, and I'll look forward to seeing you in the next video.